some, the term dive bar can be seen as a negative thing, but that's not the case around Milwaukee. On Milwaukee's Molly Snyder joins us uh, this <laughs> afternoon. And Molly, there are many to choose from in our area. I don't know who thinks that dive bars are negative because uh, <laughs> they're not. They are not at all. I use that term with the most love in my heart. Uh, and when I travel, I, I seek out dive bars in other places. And yes, we are very, very fortunate in the dive bar scene here in Milwaukee. Yeah, so let's talk about some of the ones that are uh, maybe not heard of a lot. Last Rites. Last Rites is a metal punk dive bar that's located in Walker's Point. Uh, it literally is also a hidden gem because they don't have a sign. They have a light box that kind of uh, flickers uh, and, and, and buzzes, but it there's no sign. It's uh, really uh, kind of hard to find. But they're about a, a year and a half old. However, that just feels like they've been around for a lot longer. Super divey feel to it. Uh, they also have uh, bands, live music. They're quite often punk bands, metal bands, and there's never a cover charge. So, Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's talk about the Uptowner. The Uptowner is in River West, and it is the oldest continuously running bar continuously open bar uh, it opened in 1883 and so if you like history and you like you know vintage details and i mean it's just really a fun place uh to go in terms of uh you know getting a little a little bit more uh for, for your experience but also it just tr attracts such a diverse crowd that uh, you'll always get in some conversation with uh, some random stranger that'll be interesting. I guarantee it. Yeah, that's in my neighborhood, which is a uh, home to a number of great dive bars. Uh, what about Mary's Caddyshack? Well, Mary's, I love it because it proves that you don't, you know, you can have a dive bar in the suburbs. This is in New <laughs> Berlin. And uh, this is more kind of has like a up north uh, cottagey feel to it a bit, uh, but it also has a dive bar feel much so on the inside. It's just very friendly. It's a beer and a shot kind of place. Uh, I talked to Mary about six months ago and uh, she's really hoping because it's called Mary's Caddy Shack that uh, someday she'll get uh, Bill Murray to stop in before he passes. Those oh, are her words. So. That would be nice yeah. and we got to be there for that. Yeah. Uh, Tony's right. Moody Blues. Tony's Moody Blues is not a uh, blues bar at all. People walk in there all the time, Tony says, wondering where the blues music is. She's actually a huge fan of the band, the Moody Blues, uh, and has seen them like 30 times in concert and travels around it to check them out. Uh, so it also, though, has a really, really cool vintage uh bright teal Formica bar in there. And I'm a, I'm a sucker for a Formica bar and it's the original uh, bar in there. It's it's really cool. So yeah. uh, just a really friendly place, beer and a shot again. Uh, and again, also always an interesting person or two. Yeah, to interesting people, always some interesting decor in those dive bars as well. Of course, there are plenty more that we did not get to. One of my favorites is uh, uh, Why Not too on the east side. There are uh, a bunch more. Here's the list again of the ones that we talked about. Molly, thank you for being with us on this Friday.